Her mother is involved for 40 years in Sufism and so on. May Allah guide her. You know what? We need to learn most and foremost in our deen is aqidah, is belief. Sometimes we care a lot about introducing Islam to non-Muslims and explaining the oneness of God and the concept of creed and belief in, in, in Islam. Why we neglect doing so with some of our family members and those who are born in Islam, we assume that they should know it by birth. Somebody is born in Islam, they should know everything about Islam by birth. This is not true. This is what the Prophet said. You would only learn by seeking knowledge. So I guess you still have a chance in addition to making dua for your mother's guidance to tell her what's right and what's wrong. And say, here is the book of Allah which has got everything and here is the sound sunnah of Prophet Muhammad Where do you find this practice? If you, <coughs> if you cannot find it in any of them, then it's false. Somebody yesterday or the day before yesterday was asking me about a particular book. Uh, belonging to a tariqa, and you know tariqa is a Sufi term, that the sheikh or the leader of this tariqa instructed them to recite certain supplications certain number of times. They say, let's make a deal. Why don't we start practicing the tariqa of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu first? Recite all the adhkar of the morning and in the evening before eating, after doing this and before doing that, and after we finish them, if there is some spare time, please resort to your made-up asghar. You know why? Because we do not get actually to say the prescribed asghar. We do not get to offer the sunan and the traditions of the Prophet ﷺ. So why do we tend to make up some new things which the Prophet ﷺ did not prescribe? This is a way that you can approach your mother with in addition to making dua.